Good morning. It is what time? Eight o'clock on the dot or the button. Or yeah, those are mostly the two things that things are on. Eight o'clock on Saturday, June twentieth, two thousand and twenty. I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up. This is five more minutes. I have a little bit of a headache today. I think it might be I might need to just get some caffeine and might be a little bit dehydrated. I took my temperature to make sure it wasn't a fever or anything, and it's not. I'm not sure what's going on, but just maybe I had a little bit too much sugar yesterday. But uh, in any event, I'm doing mostly okay. I'm not too worried about this particular headache. Um, I did finish last night, finally, uh, the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, I'm laughing at myself for when I thought I was almost done um, before because it just keeps going. Um, by and large, I really liked it. I really liked the game a lot. I think it's very well made regardless of whether you have fond memories of the original or whether you never played it. I think it's well written. Visuals are gorgeous. Combat is fun mostly. There's a few f boss fights where I feel like they go on a little too long. They're maybe a little bit too hard, but you know, you can. I got through them eventually. But it's just one of those things where sometimes these boss fights have like, like seven or eight different phases, and if you die, you have to play through, you know, the whole 20 minute boss fight again, and that's frustrating. Uh, so there's a few, a few places where I'm feeling like, you know, I've just failed again and I'm just like, ah, I'm not having fun right now. Now that said, there, I was playing on normal difficulty throughout. I could have at any point switched to easy difficulty and probably had a much easier time with it. Honestly, in hindsight, I don't know that I'm... I, I should have, but there were a few places where I was getting angry rather than having fun and um, could have switched to easy, and that's just on me for not doing that. But uh, the by and large, I, th I thought it was really good. I will say that uh, there's a few chapters that are just really feel like padding. Like, uh, it's it's... You know, like, you can kind of see, get some character stuff in this whole section, but you could have put that somewhere else, and, you know, areas where it's like you, you just spent the last two hours playing something that really doesn't change the story at all because it just feels like time time wasting. Yeah, I mean, there's a, a few spots like that, but by and large, like I said, I feel like the writing is interesting and good, the characters all have their own stuff going on. Uh, I liked it a lot. Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, I'm excited because tonight um, I have the, a regular Saturday evening gaming group that we just recently finished up a campaign of Fate of Cthulhu. And so we've been doing some little one shots and stuff like that before starting like a new campaign of something and one of the players in the Fate of Cthulhu game is going to run the game tonight and we're going to play the Star Wars Edge of the Empire um, uh, game and I find myself more excited than I expected to be playing in the Star Wars universe. There's, you know, I think uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess I, you know, like, I'm not sure, you know, I with with so many levels, for example, my my D and D campaign, I wanted it to be homebrew. I wanted it to feel, you know, uh, you know, original and creative and all of that, um, which you can do within the realms of of uh, an existing setting or a module or whatever. But I don't really have any existing affection for the lore of the standard D&D setting. But Star Wars. Oh, boy. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm really excited. Um, I, I have a character who's kind of a uh, mobbed up um, uh, wannabe famous singer. Kind of like, um, 
Like if you imagine um, sort of how Frank Sinatra was rumored to have all these mob connections. Well, like that's who, that's who my character wishes they were. Um, what happened instead is that they kind of worked, did like low-level mob, mob enforcer work for a while and were trying to get gigs as a performer, but then one went really bad and they badly embarrassed the wrong crime lord. Now they have a bounty on their head. Turns out having a bounty and trying to be famous is I did not, they don't go well together. And so they're kind of on the run with this ragtag crew now because they're trying to figure out what to do. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited to play that. So, in the meantime, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that tonight. And uh, tomorrow is Sunday, so I'll be continuing my rewatch of The Legend of Korra with the Season 1 finale. So, uh, I'll, we'll be talking about that tomorrow. And in the meantime, I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.